Welcome back to Newsbeat. We are now joined by Andrew Monker with sports. Andrew, LSU Athletics really had a successful weekend. What can you tell us about it? Well, Andrea, the football team, the volleyball team, and the soccer team all earned victories in this weekend's action. The football team hit the road to face the Vanderbilt Commodores in Nashville on Saturday. The Tigers moved to 15 in the AP pool after posting a 27-3 victory over, the Vanderbilt, over Vanderbilt. The Tigers started off very slowly in the first half and scored 17 of their 27 points in the fourth quarter alone. Leading LSU to the W were running back Stephen Ridley and the defense. Ridley rushed for a career high of 159 yards and a touchdown while the defense recorded six sacks for a total, total loss of 47 yards. Amazingly, 144 of Ridley's 159 yards came in the second half. The Tigers are now 2-0 and will play their first home game this season against the 1-1 Mississippi State Bulldogs this Saturday at 6 p.m. in Tiger Stadium. This is the gold game, so fans, show your support by wearing gold. The 21st ranked volleyball team hosted the Tiger Classic this weekend. The Tigers earned their third straight tournament title while staying undefeated. On their way to the title, the Tigers swept North Carolina 3-0 on Friday. On Saturday, they defeated Rice 3-1. And in their final match on Sunday, the team edged out New Mexico State 3-2. Michelle Williams, Angela Benson, and Maddie Jones made the all-tournament team while Williams took home MVP honors for the second time this season. LSU opens up SEC play Friday at 7 in its annual gold match. This match is also a student priority point night against Auburn. Fans have a chance to win four tickets to the football game this weekend by following LSU Volleyball on Twitter. The first 400 students also receive a Gold Diggers t-shirt. The soccer team also returned home this weekend and continued victories for the Tigers. The soccer team got back on track with a 1-0 win over ULL on Sunday after a scoreless double overtime tie at 12th ranked BYU on Thursday. In the first half, sophomore Carly Banks scored the only goal for the Tigers from a free kick cross by senior Courtney Alexander. LSU moves to 2-3 and three and 1 on the season as they hit the road again to play at Illinois on Friday at 7 p.m. Moving to professional football, the Saints won their first game of the NFL season for the NFL kickoff at Thursday, on Thursday night. The Saints defeated the Minnesota Vikings 14-9 in the much-anticipated rematch of last year's NFC Championship. The game wasn't the high-scoring affair it was expected to be like last year's 31-28 victory. The Saints will play another primetime game on Monday night at the San Francisco 49ers. That wraps up today's sports report. Back to you, Andrea. Thanks, Andrew.